everybody. I am Ginger Wolf and welcome Stripped Finance. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I am a feature entertainer and stripper not a financial consultant. Please speak to your financial advisor about any financial matters. And with that out of the way. Let's get into the video. The Parable of the Pipeline Lesson number 1 Jobs that trade time for money are not reliable in the long term. Most people run after jobs why because they provide paychecks. Jobs provide money to pay bills that's the logic right but. There is a big problem. Jobs ask you to trade time for some money. The more time you spend, the more you get paid at the end of the month. What if you become incapable of trading your time due to some kind of sickness or injury what will you do in your old age when your muscles won't be as strong as now you can't always be working all the time? Or can you? So it might be a good strategy to get money by doing a job in the short term. Also once you get tuned to a particular lifestyle it becomes harder to adjust. Let's say you are doing a job and you get $20,000 per month. Now imagine if you stop going to your office for a few days due to some problem. Your salary will be affected. Your angry boss may even fire you and get someone else on board but since you are used to spending more money on fancy products or subscriptions, you will struggle to adjust to the newer lifestyle. What if your company starts firing its employees due to some random market crash? Your salary would instantly become null, right? You may argue that there is always another way, yes, that's true. There are lots of ways. But if you don't have a reliable system that pumps out cash sustainably, you should start thinking about it. Sure, you can argue that those are all imaginary scenarios. But a wise person always has plans for the worst case. Now let me share a fantastic story by the author of this book. Keep reading. Lesson number two, the day you stop working, the flow of money stops. If you haven't built any system, so in this book, the author shares an exciting story of two friends, Pablo and Bruno. Pablo and Bruno both had the same job of delivering water to every home in the village. So Pablo carried lots of buckets and got paid immediately. He was happy carrying buckets. Surprisingly, Bruno was a smarty. He built a pipeline half of the time and used the remaining time to carry buckets. Bruno was getting paid less than Pablo as he spent most time carrying buckets. But once Bruno's pipeline started delivering. So who is the winner here? Yes, it's Bruno. He had a long-term vision. Sadly, most people have the mindset of Pablo. They get paid only when they carry buckets. If they want more money, they will have to work hard and carry more buckets. But the people who have the mindset of Bruno work smartly. They build systems once and reap the money for their entire life. Lesson number three, it's hard to convince people to build systems instead of living paycheck to paycheck. No matter how excellent the idea of passive income or pipeline building is, sadly, most people, 99%, would never accept this idea. And there is a big reason for that. If you take a quick look around you, what do you see most people doing? Are they worried about their next paycheck or are they planning systems? I bet most people don't even know what a system means in the context of real life. There is a thing called social proof. Since most people love living paycheck to paycheck but that's not true. The author is not against jobs. He is against the idea of deluding ourselves and thinking that a job is the most secure thing when it's not. The best way to play safely is to build a system that can generate money. The idea of building systems is about building assets that pay you passively. Lesson number four, the more you earn, the more lavish your lifestyle becomes. And the harder it is to escape from it. Another problem with the bucket carrying mindset is, once the money starts coming into your bank account, you suddenly become more interested in buying liabilities. But it doesn't make sense, right? Yes, but unfortunately, billions of people do this every day. Being emotional beings, we tend to forget our logic and go with the flow. 
As a result, we build a habit of buying liabilities. That's the reason most people don't see any problem with jobs. They think that they are getting the money. Things have been fine. So why put extra effort? Lesson number five, never underestimate the power of compounding. The author shares the secret of successful people in this book. Yes, it's the power of compounding. But it doesn't work for narrow-minded people who believe in instant gratification. They give up too early. On the flip side, rich people stay patient for years. They invest early in quality stocks or some other assets and allow them to compound over time. If you don't know what compounding is, let me explain quickly. Expect a little mathematics here. Let's say you have R amount of money. Now raise it to the power of x, r to the power of x, where x equals 2 caret n n is a natural number, don't be scared by this weird looking expression. In short, x grows by the powers of 2, x can be 1, 2, 4, 8, 2 caret 100, 2 caret 1000, and it keeps on increasing. So r, your money, grows like crazy. Remember, your money equals r to the power of x. In short, your money grows like crazy with time. It compounds. Initially, it's a small figure. But with time, the power of compounding starts. And you become wealthy over time. Lesson number six, the only limit to our growth is the one we put ourselves. After the revolution of the internet, there are many options like starting your blog, providing services, etc., that can help you build assets. But most people get stuck with a narrow mindset and don't even dare to explore the possibilities. Most people don't even have enough patience to sit and plan about building a money-making asset. They delude themselves by believing that their job is enough to live a good life. So they don't even take the first step toward financial freedom. If you are smart enough, you can even grow assets while having a job. There is a problem only when you avoid making pipelines for yourself and think that as long as you have a job, then there is no problem. So ditch that limited mindset. And think about how you can grow your assets. Learn about how successful people select and build their assets. And don't stop when you build one. There is no limit to how vast your wealth can grow, provided you are wise enough to invest in quality assets that don't degrade over time and constantly give you compounded money. Lesson number seven, leverage your time, effort, and money to build more pipelines. The author says that we all have the same 24 hours every day. How you spend these hours and what choices you make determines how successful you will become. The author talks about leveraging our resources. And our most precious resources are time, money, energy. Successful people are cautious about where they spend these resources. They don't just waste their time watching TV serials like Squid Games just because they are trending. They choose. Yes, they make deliberate choices like which stocks they will pick, who they will allow in their inner circle. While ordinary people go with the flow, they do what gives them pleasure. Building a pipeline takes time and effort. That's why you must leverage your time and money. It's okay if you don't have enough money in the initial days. But we all have the same amount of time every day, right? So always make sure that if you put two hours doing something, you do that in such a way that you get results worth 10 hours. Sound hard, right? Lesson number eight, you can be rich today but still become poor in the future if you don't invest in assets. You see, there is no security in jobs. So the sooner you start building assets, the better it will be for you in the future. It doesn't matter if you are rich or poor right now. That time has long gone when only rich people could buy assets. Anything that puts money in your pocket is an asset. And anything that takes money out of your pocket is a liability. If you are rich right now, it's great. You can buy ample assets right away. And even if you make any mistake, it won't hurt your pocket. If you are poor, you can still buy little assets that could potentially make you money later. The point is to shift your mindset and think like Bruno, the pipeline maker. You may be poor initially. But if you have a mindset like Bruno, nobody can stop you from becoming wealthy. Lesson number 9, 
have enough pipelines to ensure your safety. The real security is in building pipelines. The author says, pipelines are your lifelines. And it's true. If you have 5 to 10 pipelines, you don't even need to worry about your finances. All you will need is a little maintenance. That's it. Only by building systems that keep paying will you become financially free. As we discussed, most people mistakenly see safety in bucket carrying jobs, where you trade your time for money. So the idea of building systems doesn't even cross their minds. And if it does, they don't believe that they can achieve it. This also brings you to the next lesson. Lesson number 10, encourage other people and make them realize the power of systems and compounding. The best way to help a person financially is by educating him or her about building assets and systems. Just like I did to you, it's like teaching a person how to catch a fish. Sure, it's easy to give a person a fish. But by doing that, you will only help him one time. When you teach someone a process, you help him infinite times. It's not just about building wealth. You make that person independent. This opens up doors to multiple opportunities. And the goal is to grow together, isn't it? So don't keep this secret to yourself. Share with your friends too. I recommend this book to people who aspire to be entrepreneurs, start or join business and want to have a secured life with lifelong wealth. Hi guys, I'm Ginger Wolf and thank you for making it this far into the video if you have the time. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Stripped Finance. So in the meantime, I believe in you, I know you can do it, just keep on grinding, okay?